Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth and the final episode on portfolio revision formula plans. In this episode, we are going to talk about the variable ratio plan. A few things about the variable ratio plan first. The first thing is that this is the most aggressive of all the formula plans, which aims at market timing by trying to buy low and sell high. In this plan, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to establish the initial speculative to total ratio. Please notice the difference. In the previous uh, plan, that is the constant ratio plan, the ratio that we talked about was the speculative to conservative ratio, whereas in this plan, we are going to establish the um, speculative to total ratio. And like we have been doing before, we are going to establish the trigger points and uh, when they are activated, we are going to rebalance the portfolio. Let us quickly see how the variable ratio plan operates by using the same data from before. We have the initial portfolio value $10,000 and we have the initial speculative to total ratio of 0.4 and we have specified here our trigger points. That is, if the actual ratio goes to 0.6 and above, we are going to rebalance by bringing the speculative portion to 0.5 and if the actual ratio goes to 0.2 or below, we are going to raise the speculative portion to 0.3. So just like before, we have this little table and we will work through it to see how the variable ratio plan works. In column 1, as before, we have the value of securities $10 and $25. In the second column, we have the speculative portion. In the third one, we have the conservative portion. Fourth one tells us about the total value of the portfolio. Then in column number five, we have the speculative to total ratio. In column number six, we keep a record of our buying and selling transactions. And like before, in column number seven, we note down our number of securities in the speculative portion. So uh, let us uh, get going by first of all filling in the total portfolio value in the beginning which is $10,000. The initial speculative to total ratio is a 0.4 that will mean that we are going to have to write $4,000 here which will make the speculative to total ratio 0.4 because when we divide 4,000 by 10,000 we are going to get to 0.4 and that is what we are going to write here, 0 0.4. It also means that in the conservative portion, we have $6,000. Um, the number of securities in the speculative portion, just like before, we have 400 securities to start with. We, we have obtained this number by dividing the 4,000, this one here, by the $10 value of securities. Now let us examine what happens when the price or the value of the securities rises to $25. When that happens, we have 400 securities in the speculative portion. At the going rate of $25 per security, we are going to have 25 times 400, that is $10,000 in the speculative portion. The amount in the conservative portion is $6,000, which will mean that the total value of the portfolio would rise to $16,000. Now let us uh, compute the speculative to total ratio. We are going to divide this $10,000 by this uh, mm, uh, $16,000, and this is going to give us 0 0.625, and we will notice that we have crossed our threshold of 0.6. So when we cross this threshold level of 0.6, what we are going to do in rebalancing is that we are going to ensure that the speculative portion is brought to 0.5 of the total portfolio value. So let us complete this row quickly by writing 400 securities here. And then in the next row here, we are going to do our rebalancing exercise. Uh, for doing that, we will do a little bit uh, of uh, rough work. We already know that uh, uh, at the security value of $25, the speculative to total ratio has gone above the trigger point of 0 0.6. So we are going to do a simple rebalancing. What we need to do is we need to bring down this ratio from 0 0.6 to 5 to uh, 0 0.4, uh, to 0 0.5, sorry. And to do that, we are going to have to 
um, subtract some amount from the speculative portion and transfer it to the conservative part of the portfolio like we have been doing it um, before so let's write something for the desired speculative portion we know we have specified that the desired speculative portion should be the should be 0.5 um, of total so this will mean uh, 0.5 of total the total value is uh, 16,000 and half of that is going to be 8,000 so we are going to write here 8,000 this is 0.5 of the total um, portfolio value this means that the new speculative amount is going to be we already have an amount of ten thousand dollars here and because we want to reduce this amount to eight thousand we are going to subtract two thousand dollars from it to give us eight thousand dollars and the new conservative amount is going to be we already have six thousand dollars there so six thousand plus the two hundred dollars uh, two thousand dollars so that is also going to give us eight thousand dollars uh, you have to keep in mind that we have reduced the um, balance in the speculative portion and this can happen only if we sell off some securities so we are going to write here the number of um, the, the securities sold from the speculative portion we have uh, sold two thousand dollars worth of securities at the going price of twenty five dollars per security which means we have sold eighty securities and the new number of securities in the speculative portion is going to be simply uh, we had 400 to start with and we have sold off 80 on the way so we are going to have 320 securities remaining in the speculative portion this is that is how simple it is so let us uh, fill up this uh, row and we will be done very quickly in the speculative portion we have eight thousand dollars in the conservative portion we again have eight thousand dollars so that the total value of the portfolio remains sixteen thousand and this means that the speculative to total ratio comes to 0 0.5 which is what we wanted and in the column for transactions we are going to write sell 80 securities and which will mean that the number of securities remaining in the speculative portion will be 320 and that is pretty much it you are going to do the opposite if the security prices fell for example if they fell and the um, new ratio speculative to total ratio went down to 0.2 or below you would then have to raise the speculative portion to 0.3 of the total by buying some securities in that case that is all ladies and gentlemen bye bye hope this was helpful for you